Hello, I'm Rupert Soskin. And I'm Michael Bott. We're the Prehistory Guys, and this is a Prehistory Flash, one of our quick bites bringing you some of the exciting discoveries hitting the headlines in the world of prehistoric archaeology. This is a really delightful discovery in New Mexico of the longest trail of footprints ever discovered and dating from the end of the last ice age, between 10 and 13,000 years ago. And what makes these footprints so evocative is that they are of a woman, although from the foot size it's possible it was an adolescent male, but whoever they were, this person was carrying a toddler. How on earth can they tell that? I hear you cry. Well, <laughs> most of the time. There is just a single set of uneven footprints. Sometimes the depth of the print is deeper on the left foot, so more weight is being applied. Sometimes it's the right, and every now and again, another set of small footprints appear, where the woman has put the child down to have a rest or readjust things, and then the tiny footprints disappear again where she has picked the child up and <laughs> continued on her journey. Now clearly, the differing depths of footprint arose from her shifting the child from one side to the other, something I think a lot of us can relate to. Yes, but not only that. To add to the story, they can tell that she was walking fairly quickly, and the mile-long trail of footprints also make a return journey. It seems fairly certain that it's the same person on the return journey from the matching size of print and length of stride, but the stride length is even and the child's prints don't reappear anywhere along the returning set of prints. So it would seem the child was being dropped off somewhere, and we um, have to hope, I suppose, it was um, nothing sinister like... Uh, uh, the child being <laughs> devoured by wild animals, or that she was uh, <laughs> dropping the child off at uh, dubious Uncle Derek's house, you know, but on the other side of the lake. When <laughs> well, well, we do have to investigate all possibilities, don't we? Yes, I don't know how you'd investigate that mm. possibility, but uh, mm. yes, for, forgive my uh, dreadful <laughs> imaginings. I'm sure nothing of the sort was taking place. Of course not, anyway. of course not. <laughs> Actually, indeed, talking of wild animals, the tracks of various species do cross the footprints in places. Now, while it's impossible to say for certain that all the tracks were laid down at the same time, the researchers have been able to discern that a woolly mammoth and a giant sloth both crossed the trail of the footprints at different points in the journey. They can even tell from the changing depths and positions of the tracks that at one point the giant sloth raised itself up on its hind legs as if it was trying to get a better view of the possible human threat, or maybe it was uh, sniffing the air, uh, or both. Who knows? Who knows indeed, yeah. The trail runs along what used to be the shores of a vast lake, which, from all the different fossil tracks that have been found there in recent years, researchers know was in constant use by humans and animals. They've even found places where groups of children appear to have been playing in the puddles of water that have accumulated yeah. in the footprints left by giant <laughs> sloths and mammoths. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> but, uh, but this particular journey must have been difficult because the footprints slip and slide a fair bit from carrying the child in the muddy conditions. Wow. There you are, a snapshot, or should I say a, a flash photograph of the lives yeah. of humans and extinct animals from at least 10,000 years ago. Amazing. Yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. We'll see you again next time.